Welcome everybody to Adapted, episode 77. My name is Tristan. Tristan, joining me this week, we've got Sweener, Jason, Amy, and Chad. How's it going, everyone? Hey! Ready to do it. Crazy week, dude, of shows. Finale this is, week. This is like your favorite week of the year, right? Like, outside of when the new shows start up again? Well, it is this time around, because some of these shows I'm just happy to not watch for a while. <laughs> yeah, same here. Oh, the Flash this week. <laughs> we'll get to that Flash. Uh... A show that we will continually watch, no, no matter how many seasons they make. Game of Thrones, we're on episode 5, The Door. And what's the name of the episode? The Door. Before even watching this episode, I was like, maybe something new with Hodor. Maybe. And it later made sense that, yes. It didn't even click with me, dude, at all. Yeah. Dude, when he was sitting there and he was started out, hold the door. No, I'm talking about door. the title of the <laughs> show the before I started watching it. Like, oh. I, I didn't get the hold the door before I started watching the episode. Yeah. Maggie actually made a comment about it before we hit play, but yeah. Like, hold the door? Oh, she needs to be on this show. <laughs> she's got all the inside track. I'm still catching her up on the first few seasons, so oh. she's... Got a ways to go. Yeah, she's living in confusion right now, like, what's going on? But oh anyways. God. What door? The door. Let's, let's focus on the hold door part of things. Hold door. Can we start with the start? Because if we don't, I don't think we're going to get to the rest of it. That is true. Like, eh. Sure, let's let's start with the beginning. And Sansa meeting with Littlefinger. And Littlefinger, the whole back and forth of... Sansa actually makes Littlefinger feel some guilt in some ways. But later we... I think it's fake. I think it's fake because yeah, by the end of that conversation when... Sansa reveals the plans to Jon Snow and company. She lies to him, so that makes me think well, maybe Littlefinger is still controlling her in some ways without her even knowing anymore. What I was just confused about is like, why wouldn't like can they not like say the word rape on air or something? Like, it was just really awkward that he never was like, oh, did he rape you or anything? And like, and then she was like, it's something that women aren't supposed to talk about, and I'm like. Well, why not? You were raped. Like, why can't you? It's just that was just awkward to me because I was expecting, like, okay, feel remorse. Like, you put her in the situation. Like, yeah, bodily beating is like, I would take that any day over being raped, but you can't, like, say that. I don't know. It was just strange to me that that word never hmm. came up. She's a late. Maybe she's just being a lady, right? And, like, maybe that's just a sign of the times. You that's don't what say I was that thinking. To, yeah. like, Littlefinger, who's right. kind of like this classy dude. Like, he's, like, kind of like, you know, like higher up. So you don't want to, you know, just don't say certain things. I, you guess, go around rapes but I thought that she would have been strong enough to like say it. True, you know? and they are close enough. It's not like they have that class relevancy anymore. Yeah, it's it was true. just weird. It was like kind of a like it was a good scene, and I liked it. And I liked that Sansa was like your dick, and I want to kill you, and that kind of stuff. But it was just I don't know why it was just weird to me. Like I haven't like read. I just watched the episode literally before the podcast, so like I haven't like read anything online. So I ended like going blind. So I, I was like just it. like, why didn't she just be like, dude? the asshole raped me like what well, i was just like uh do you think maybe she was trying to get him to say it like trying yeah. to get him to like because she's was... like you know what the fuck happened dude you know what happened like why don't you tell me what happened like yeah well, maybe think... there, maybe there's even more that happened that they didn't show that she was alluding to also because well, yeah probably she made the point that she never that he never went for her face because he likes his women pretty and whatnot she isn't but... pretty Wait, what? She's okay. I'm just kidding. She's not bad. <laughs> that's Swiss, like that's Sweeter's girl right there. Dude, Sansa. That was Melisandre. <laughs> but the big <laughs> oh, revelation okay. of that meeting is Littlefinger informing Sansa that the Blackfish has uh, retaken River Run, which is... Why would you trust that information? Why in the world would you think he was telling you the truth? Like, what the hell? Yes, I... A thousand percent. With your half-brother. Yeah, he's yeah. like si trying to draw like uh, like tension between the the siblings, and you're gonna trust the information. It doesn't make any yeah. sense to me. After what he confused. just put you through, she's not stupid, but they're like making her really stupid. Like I don't know. I was like exactly like what he just put you through this. Yeah, why didn't she have Brienne just cut him in half? Like that's how that should have went. And then you're gonna believe what he says? Like so weird. Ah, yeah. Green. yeah, I don't get it. I think she loves him. I think she secretly still loves him. I don't think she ever loved him. I think she did. Uh, she had a thing. Yeah, I think like that was real. There was like like a... her one real love. Oh, she was playing the only card she had at one point. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I think I thought it was a like a trick, like just to like. Mm, I thought she was in. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between love and lost. She's a fucking survivor, lost. though, dude. She's a survivor. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Be in her shoes. She is a survivor. So it, it's impossible for that news to be accurate, though? Yeah, 100%. It's not impossible, but, like, why the hell would you believe him? Like, yeah. there's no... Why like, would you what believe has he that? done to earn your trust before that? All of a sudden, you're going to be like, yeah, I, like, I, I believe him. He's going to... He's, he's throwing her a crumb, man. And she's yeah. Like, nom, 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 nom. Well, he yeah. also offered the Army of the Veil, next to the Veil, to right. help them out. Did you tell her that? Yeah. She, oh, Tristan I offered him up. Tristan, she has her own army, all right? Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Did, did he offer it to her, or did he say, we are coming with the Army of the Veil to help defend you? Oh, they're there. Wait, they like, hey, right? if you do what I say, then I'll let you have the Army of the Veil versus... I'm pretty we'll positive he said, yeah, he said I'll they're, offer you they're, Yeah, they're army. camping right outside, dude. They're ready to rock and roll, dude. Yeah. Like, did he did he did he say that, or did yeah. he say they're here to help? If you want he them up, what? He offered them up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He offered his army to her. So it just seemed I don't know. It's kind of weird. Mm. And then she told him she didn't need his army because she has her own army. That's right. But she doesn't really. Jon Snow does. Yeah. Well, but... though that takes some convincing too, because Jon Snow is at this point done fighting. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He's like, what point does he have until he gets... Uh, I think he wants to take Winterfell back. What? Yeah, he wants to take Winterfell back. He wants yeah. his brother. He's not, he's not, no, well, not before... Until he got the letter from Ramsey Bolton. Right. Yeah. Yes. Before now that, though, he said the, wor the words clear as day, I'm done fighting. I have yes, but now he's fight. not done fighting, so... I made the point before the letter, though. That was my whole point. Before the letter, he said I was done fighting. Yeah. Now yeah. that he got the letter, now he's ready to run. <laughs> that was last yeah, episode. We're was... talking about this episode. This right? episode of Game of Thrones, before he got the letter, the bastard letter. That was last episode. Yeah, he got the letter last episode. He got the letter. Yeah, awesome. that's why I'm yeah. confused. Tristan wasn't here last week, so give him the Yeah, give, give the guy out. a fucking oh, break, okay, Amy, for okay, Christ's okay. sake, man. We got, the, we got the letter yeah. last episode. That's why I was confused. He's still trying to sort out what the hell I said last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I don't even know. I don't know. He's never going to let you host again. <laughs> well, what about the fact that the tree fairies created the White Walkers? That was pretty wild. Yeah, did you know that from the books? Is that in the books, like, that they created the White Walkers? Or this is a new new deal? Yeah, that's all new. Yeah, I don't think is... it really matters if it's in the books at this point either, because it's all yeah. entirely different paths, really. Well, I mean, I mean, if it was in the books, you guys wouldn't have been surprised. If it wasn't in the books, then everyone in the world is surprised. That's what I was like, saying, because I was like, I didn't know that they created them, but maybe it was, like, already. It's an interesting <laughs> new factoid about this universe and where cool. they came from and it makes me hate tree people <laughs> why dude the white walkers are so awesome yeah they're awesome but they're killing everybody yeah, they're they're awesome, cares? Man. that's so what they were created for yeah <laughs> i'm rooting for them these what people mean, are all terrible something you're gonna create something that's gonna fucking be on your side dude when your back's yeah, against the wall i've never done before because the children of the forest and the giants like owned westeros before the first men came over and the first men in the Children of the Forest had a pact. It's when the Andals came over that that pact went to shit. And so they had, for like millennia, lived without really fear. So I think it was something then that they did to try to see. Like, they'd never done it before. And they're like, oh, I heard back in the day that maybe you could do this thing. Let's try it. And they're like, oh, fuck. So I don't think that they had any real control over what they were messing with. I think it was a, definitely done out of... Um, like That's necessity great. they felt and it wasn't something like it was their last chance is what they felt i feel because they had been fighting a losing war against the andals for so long that well, they, they, they were almost now. yeah yeah <laughs> Oof. So even yeah, the way cool. walkers were defeated by man at 1.2 that's because the giants and like the children of the forest and like all of them like joined together and like built the wall and pushed them all back and stuff, you know. Well, they weren't defeated. They were just kind of held off, right? Yeah, they were just... They went to Dude, if Bran... They were sent to their room. So now if that guy... If the... That of the king can get into the cave... Dude, if Bran goes over the wall, man, can the White Walkers go over the wall now, too? 
Yeah. Ooh, that's now, a good wall. Because now, good. now Brand's just his little bitch. Wait, they could have always gone over the wall, right? They just couldn't get up to it. They just the wall was like too big for them to climb, right? And then there's the the passageway through the wall, also. Yeah. Yeah, they could have always got over it, but they just couldn't. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, they could always have gotten over it, but they couldn't. Yeah, wasn't there like a whole episode where they were like storming the wall? The White Walkers were like trying to climb the wall, and then like That's the that wildlings. was the wildlings. Oh, that was the wildlings in that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the White yeah, Walkers. Yeah, John Snow was climbing up the wall. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. This is yeah. where we gather weekly to put together the entire seasons of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm so confused. What is happening today? Dude, the other thing that was sad, dude. Hodor. Hodor. Well, let's talk and about the dire wolf. Amy doesn't want to talk about Hodor, about Hodor yet. Yeah, she's not yet. <laughs> she's not ready, apparently. Well, let's talk about Arya. Arya in the House of Black and White, and Jock and Hagar giving her an assignment to kill a lady that Arya deems isn't necessarily uh, worthy of death. In her mind, she seems like she's a nice lady, and Good. I kill her. She doesn't know shit about her, though. What if she, like. <laughs> First off. Back. The girl that Arya's training with, dude, when she dropped that bow staff, I was like, bring it, dude. And then she fucking right hooked her and knocked her out, dude. That shit was awesome. I thought it was real heartbreaking to watch Arya watch the depiction of what the, the rest yeah, of the, yeah. the Starks and all that happened. The and how Dad was just bumble- yeah, well, was just- kind of funny, though, I will admit. She was laughing at first, and then old Ned lost his head and well, then her dad came out as a complete idiot, like a bumbling mm, fool. So great. And he was one of the smartest men, you know, with Tyrion trying to save this realm. And, you know, and she's just like, whoa, no man. So like, Arya has oh. always been a bit of a rebel. She doesn't usually listen to people. And now she's been given this assignment. And after seeing this theater performance of, like, her, her reminder of, like, this is what happened to your father and all this, I'm sensing Arya is going to jump shit I'd, pretty soon. Hide back? Nah. She yeah, but then I'm wondering if she does it. Because I was thinking the same thing, Tristan. I was like, I don't think that she's going to do this because she's getting more reminders of who she mm-hmm. is or was. And I know that that's why she was given this assignment. But, like, dude, they're going to kill her if she tries to leave. She knows too many secrets. She knows stuff. Like, he's like, you won't get another chance. Essentially, like, you're going to be dead. So I'm like, what are you going to do? Like, I feel like exciting. she hasn't become a better fighter yet either. I feel mm-hmm. like she still easily gets her ass whipped. And it's like, dude, how dude, you've been getting beaten for like a season and a half now, I feel like. Like, well, learn something. Oh, well, I don't know, man. I mean, she was still blind for a while, people. but look at Daredevil. Episodes. Maybe her dire wolf, Nymeria, will show up finally and rescue her. Wait, that is that so still alive? Cool. I thought they killed her. Dude, is that, I think that's Nymeria. the best dire wolf in the whole There's two left right now. Ghost Who, and Nymeria. Jon Snow's ghost. Oh, I thought they killed the ghost. Yeah, I thought they did Still too. Oh. Jason? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Remember he was right outside. I'm not even John answering Snow anything anymore. Yeah, Ghost Snow is still alive. Dead, it was Summer. Ghost Summer was died dead. in that last Summer episode. Summer looks yes. kind of like Ghost because it was a warm blonde color, almost white. Yeah, that was that was. Summer sad. was Brand's dire wolf. Yeah. Uh, why did that dire wolf just run right into the fray, dude? Because he thought he could help taking save them. Taking one from them. the team. Yeah. Iron Islands. Why would taking one for the team in this week's shows, dude? Oh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Iron Islands. King's Moot. Iron yeah, Islands. Let's, let's get to the Iron Islands. <laughs> he finally got a haircut. How about that? Dude, wait. What about Daenerys, dude? Is yeah, she not a irritating too. person? Oh, we'll get to Daenerys because Iron Islands has some setup with Daenerys. Because yeah. here in Greyjoy has this grandmaster plan like oh yeah i'll marry daenerys and that'll work give her I think daenerys is gonna be like to... a few guys have tried to marry daenerys before and she doesn't marry everyone <laughs> no she's gonna marry my ships though i mean it's true she does need ships to come across the, she needs the ships ocean. but now urine doesn't have any ships at the moment so yeah that's true i more. wonder if the the sister will go across the seas and do that and stuff well where are the, where is yara and Theon headed now. Now that they lost the king's mood, now that you're dude, they're just... heading. They're on their way to Castle Black, dude, to help out Jon Snow. I, 
Does Theon know about, like, the White Walkers and stuff, though? Because why would they go up there? I mean, Theon betrayed the... Well, I guess... I know, now. I mean, Theon knows that they were going to Black. Yeah, I know, she, I know that, but, like... He's he's with his sister now. Like he abandoned, abandoned, saved, but then left. So like, I don't know if he wants to pursue his Greyjoyness now. Like, right, dude. Now he's got to go and redeem himself for what he did to the Starks. Yeah, maybe. I think that'd be cool if they went up They're there. They're gonna come in with all those ships, dude. And Jon Snow's gonna, dude, rock and roll it. The Iron Island stuff was kind of confusing to me. Not confusing, but it didn't make total sense to me. Like. Okay, this is a great plot point for a hero, and they're like, yeah, he's married Daenerys, and now he doesn't have any boats, so he's just kind of his people build all these boats, and it's probably gonna take some time. And yeah. then Amy yeah. has a good thing to talk about this, that shit too. That I didn't yeah, realize. the Iron Islands does not have trees. Tradition, I mean, like if reading, like they don't have trees. That's why they have to reave from the lands. They the, the reavers go and pillage and plunder, and they steal wood and lumber and forests and stuff from Westeros. They used to have land like right along the coast which was then taken over by the Lannisters and stuff so they don't even have any trees to build these new ships so I'm like wait what trees are you using to build these ships guys like what I just got kind of like maybe I'm thinking too much about that and I should just like let it be but I was kind of confused also it was really cool to see them do the King's Moot and stuff because traditionally that was the original way that they did like leadership and like kings in um the iron islands and then that was done away with and it was it was ruled by like democracy uh, sorry monarchy like kings and then sons and stuff and i think it was kind of sweet that they brought back the the driftwood crown as well because it used to be like a, a driftwood crown driftwood crown back in the day and then it went to the iron crown for that the iron islands and they it just was this cool like summation of history which was really sweet that i appreciated like which is going into way more detail than the episode, I think, you know, for a lot of viewers, like, hit on. But for me, I was like, oh, I see what they did there. Like, oh, that was really cool. Because they didn't want a female ruler, so they had to have the king's mood again, where, like, drowned god priests, like, brought everything back. Um, kind of they used to rule the lands before they were all murdered and stuff back in the day. It just was really sweet. I liked that part of the episode a lot. I nerded out. <laughs> Dork. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> it was cool. I thought that guy was dead. That was all I got yeah. from that scene. Oh, the, when he drowned? Yeah, I thought they actually killed him. I was like, holy shit, they actually killed that guy. And then he came back, and now I was like, does he have superpowers now? Like, what's no. the thing? They just, sure. put, they just put him on the brink of death, and he comes back a better man. What they believe in the drowned god. That would have been funny if he did die, and they were like, oh shit. Um... That's what I thought, too. Like, someone's going to like bust out the smelling stars and start slapping him. Like, oh, dude, dude, we took it. Dude, it went too far. <laughs> But it didn't, and he's back. So yeah, now uh, Euron wants a thousand ships made, so he can offer them up to Daenerys, which not a great plan on his part. In my it's mind. a terrible plan. Do you know how long it takes to build a fucking ship? You it think they're gonna alone a thousand? A thousand ships? This war, he's this war is gonna be over. He's he's mad. He's crazy. Oh. And speaking of Daenerys, uh, Jorah the Andal. Shows off his grayscale to Daenerys, and Daenerys yeah. kind of sets sets him off on a mission to like save himself. To save himself, come back to me. Which she will be interesting. A, she's a god. It'll be interesting to see where he might go from there. As far as like, I'm sure it's not very. I'm sure it's pretty difficult to actually be cured from grayscale. Right. But along his travels, rest. like to see what he might encounter, and that might help out Daenerys in the future. The only well, person there's got to be a way because Stan has saved his daughter. Exactly. From the Grace exactly. Because I was gonna say that's I'm the only person yet. that we're aware of, and like she still had the disfigurement, but her grayscale stopped the progression. So I was like, that would be the only. But she's dead now. So and Stannis is dead, and there's got to be some kind of lore out there, somebody that can help him. Well, I'm assuming I would have given it to his uh, probably the Lord of Light. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Face, yeah, I would be hitting everybody in a battle with that thing. I'd just be like, <laughs> what's up? Bitches? What's up? <laughs> Until somebody cuts your arm off, then it's gone. Like, you walk into a bar, you get free drink, because you do whatever you want when you have that. Put, right? like, grayscale down. In you want me to put this yeah. across your bar? You want me to rub this on the top of your glasses? Put it on my tab. Put it on my tab. Maybe they should uh, <laughs> talk to Tyrion's new friend, the, another priestess of the Lord of Light, to possibly help out Jorah. Hey, what the hell is he doing? 
She definitely put uh, what's his name in his place, dude. Yeah. Ferris. Yeah. She slapped him right back into his place. And talking to Ferris, like she knew his entire backstory. So I don't know if that's like a trick from the Lord of Light or if she was actually involved in the oh. sorcery of like actually making the eunuch and whatnot. Good call, because they can look way, 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 way younger than what they really are. Right. I didn't right. think about that. Is I'm interested to see where that might go. I'm just curious, why did Tyrion even bring the the Red Priestess? Like, I just... It just, to, well, he, Tyrion's seen her, seen the, the priestesses and priests around when he was traveling to Daenerys. Right. So he was like, yeah. here's a good idea, like, spread word that Daenerys is restoring order in Marine and all right. stuff. And that like, they need to listen to those two while yeah. she's gone. Do you think that that's, like, the primary religion over there, and that's why he chose to do it with that religion, or? Because he's I mean, because she doesn't believe in the Lord of Light and stuff, so is no, she going to be because, fucking pissed? Daenerys, uh, Daenerys might be like, dude, what are you doing? Like, why did you, like, have this religious zealot, like, say this shit about me? Like, she might get mad about that. Yeah, but, um, the imp even said, dude, there's a lot of religions under her reign. So yeah, but they don't want the the Lord of Light, like the fire priestess people, like this is the only religion, you know, like so that might cause some great controversy in the future. Yeah, I don't know how. I mean, Daenerys trusts Tyrion to do whatever it takes to restore peace in the capital or Marine. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Just, I mean, Tyrion always has a plan. So I'm curious okay, what what happens see. with this. We shall see, and. Uh, is it time to talk no, about it's Bran? time to talk about why the hell did that old man say dude the white king is coming you better leave oh wait jk let's go back into another dream well no the the three-eyed raven was trying to tell give, Bran he give all his info through Bran. he was like uploading all his knowledge yeah. and whatnot well, why was he like you gotta get out of here and then he was like oh wait hold on one second yeah he that was say you gotta get out of here you gotta get out of here, man! And like, then he's like, hold friend. on! Like, well, yeah. do you realize how fast this dick is? Or, like, I was so confused by that. I'm like, I, wait, but you just said to leave. Oh. Oh, no. Well, he told them to leave, but they're still connected through the, yeah. the dream He said, thing. go to your... He said, listen to your friends. No, right. no, before all of that, like, when Bran got grabbed by the arm, the dude's like, holy shit, God's gonna find you now. You better get out of here. But then he's like... yeah. I know, but then as they were getting ready to leave, he's like, it's time for you to take my position. So, so why did he tell him to get out of there then? Yeah. <laughs> just, it's probably just, like, hey, bro, we got to get this shit going, dude. And then uh, once we're done, you got to get the fuck up out of Dodge. Yeah, I think it was just in a weird order because it was like, hey, you got to leave. And then like a, a minute later, hey, you need to ch switch places with me. And it was just like, well, no, you I just told really me to leave. Thing. What the hell do you want me to do, dude? Do you want me to switch places or you want me to get the hell out of here? I'm confused. I'm told. Well, I mean, Bran, Bran is meant to become the Three-Eyed Raven. So Three-Eyed yeah. Raven, knowing that the White Walkers are coming, that he can't go anywhere because he's stuck in a tree. Like, he knows he's done for. So now it's his, even though Bran isn't ready, and they even discuss this, that Bran isn't ready, because Bran asked him, hey, am I ready? Uh, he, yeah, nope. he, they connect and, like, who knows what else they he showed him, but they were passing along information to Bran. So is Bran the Three-Eyed Raven now? Yeah. Well, what was weird was yeah. why was he just going and watching his being sent off? Like, do you think there's a lot of other better memories dude could have been going through other than that? Like the sending off? And that, well, if he that didn't, was... then they wouldn't have had Hodor. Yeah, because the Three-Eyed Raven was with Bran in the whole send-off thing. And then when the, the White Walker King killed the Three-Eyed Raven, he disappeared from the dream and Brandon yeah, I got that. I was just wondering why would they go to that scene? Like, why not show all their things that may be more important? Here's my question. When you have hope was for holding down the That's... fort, dude, how was she able to kill that walker with that spear? Or was it, was it a dragon glass? What? Dragon glass, right? Obsidian, yeah, dragon glass. It was? Yeah. Right. Which is sweet, though, because why did the child of the forest stab him, like, in his armor when Dragon Glass right. is, like, fragile? So why wouldn't you have gone for, like, his neck or arm or something? Like, eh, oh, you know, it's not like I haven't been fighting you for, like, a millennia, but I'm gonna go for your stomach. I'm just mad. Dude, Mira, last man standing, dude. Yeah. I loved how it all, I mean, 
it's always sad when there's death and a death to Hodor was even sadder. He was the only. But, I cried. He was the only. I've never cried at any character dying. I cried <laughs> with when Hodor died. I was his so. Death wasn't even heroic, dude. It was sad. Ran it was murder. sad. Yes, it was heartbreaking because they fucked this guy's life up for like forty years of his life. They turned him into a simpleton, only being able to say one thing over and over and over again. And then like he didn't even get to choose to die because he was like warged into it. And then yeah, it was under Bran's control. Dude. Yeah, he didn't get to choose to sacrifice himself. Oh, it made, it made me so sad. I was, like, crying because I was like, this poor dude. Like, I don't think at the very end when, when he was holding the door that he was... Well, at that point, you're too fucking late because they're... Well, all he was like, holding the door. Was under his control. Bran was under... He was under Bran's control the whole time he was holding the door. Because Bran watched him die in his vision. Yeah. I didn't... His eyes weren't white, though. When he was Bran? The door. Dude, after Hodor died, Bran no. came out of it. Right. But so when Hodor is holding the door, like, was it were his just, eyes white? At that point, he's already fucked, so he's just yeah. Save because him. when, what? Because all of a sudden his eyes went white and he popped into action, dude. Mm -hmm. I just felt real bad for Hodor. Like I was just like really sad for him. Oh, dude, when that it's all because of the kid laying on the ground. Like that just made it so much worse. Yeah, the kid from the sandlot. Like, oh. Dude, <laughs> it's like, hey, slap that motherfucker a little harder, all right, dude? Snap out of it, bro. Oh yeah. man. And I was wondering, I'm like, dude, is, like, little kid Hodor watching himself die in the future? Like, is that why, like, he's seizuring and, like, watching himself, like, get, like, ripped yes. to pieces by these demons? Like, I was so sad. Like, ugh. I haven't read anything online. So is Hodor going to be a White Walker? I hope so. Yeah, oh, he's, he's going to be a pimp, dude. I hope he's a White Walker, and I hope that he kills Bran. No, dude, you know oh. what could happen is Hodor is going to turn into a White Walker, okay? And he's going to be, like, a super badass White Walker because he's half giant, I heard. And uh, Bran's <laughs> going to be able to control him because Bran has controlled him in the past, and he's part of him. So he might be the only White Walker that Bran could control and turn him on the other White Walkers. That could be kind of cool. Fact. My name is Chad R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be okay with that because at least he'd still be around. That poor little man. It could happen, man. Spoiler alert. Mm. Yeah. When it happens, come back here three years from now. I don't know Listen. where Bran and Mir are going to go now, though. How far are they, they're, How far can they get away, really? When yeah. Tordor is gone? <laughs> like, they're not going to get down that hill. Like, she's dragging him on a sled. Yeah, she should have fucking put him down and just pushed him down that hill and slid down. I am also 99% positive that there was, like, a, a thousand dudes on top of the thing. Yeah. That could probably just cr climb down the side yeah. and keep going after him. This is another right. one of those weird Game of Thrones I things. Feeling, they, like I think they were on top, and then they all like went in I don't think all above. Went in. But Maybe. they could still keep going over. Yeah. Like, They're like ants, dude. They're like little ants. They just follow each other. Because they can climb on ceilings, so they can just recall climb back up. But, like, dude, yeah, another thing. Where are they going to go? Like, they're north of the wall. Like, what is there? I know that they're supposed to be, like, cities beyond the wall and stuff, or, like, that one king was, but that's even, like... Or, or maybe Bran can, like, use the wrist thing, like, reverse, and maybe there'll be some way that he can then interact with the king or something, like, because hmm. I'm just kind of like, where are you going to go? I think go? everything with Bran is going to get even more interesting throughout the season. I hope so. Just to I see mean, how he survives this and, He like, better his... be fucking cool, or I'll be, like, oh, so... And what oh. else he may have learned from the Red <laughs> Raven. Dude, you know what I noticed was when that kid was like on the ground. He was like kicking around so much. He was digging ruts into the ground with his feet. Yeah. Or a dude. It hurts. That's so sad. When someone steals your soul, that's what happens. Dude, and in the book, they go, like, Bran mentions that, like, Hodor retreats to, like, like, Hodor's afraid of Bran when Bran is inside of him because he's still a sentient being, and he, like, retreats to a corner in his brain. It's mentioned that Hodor's afraid, and he doesn't like it when Bran goes inside of him. So it's, like, forcing yourself into, like, cool. a, like, a sentient creature who does not, like, where Summer, like, allows him, and they, like, are blended, and they like each other. And, but Hodor's like, dude, get out of my mind. Like, oh, it just makes me so sad. Poor baby. Hmm. Well, I love that now he's that dead. Child of I the know, forest. Now he's dead. Up. When that little child of the forest blew herself up with that awesome. bomb or whatever she had, pretty awesome. Those bombs are awesome. Yeah. I would be like, dude, toss me some before you die, please. Whenever Even when the walkers went through the fire, dude, and like, it, like the ice like killed the fire, and then the fire came back as they made it through. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. 
Anytime oh my god. When she threw the episode. spear through that guy, though, and the way he broke into ice, that was the most broke special effect I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, like, why was she able to kill a White Walker with that spear? Was it a special Dragon effect? Glass. About Dragon that? Glass. Oh, yeah. Glass but like, I'm just glass talking special Walker. effects. It was so terrible. Special effects were terrible. <sighs> I thought they were pretty pretty solid, actually. Yeah, and for the most part, they were solid. Just the spear. Watching walker. those wa White Walkers go through the tunnel and they're just like all scavenging and fall on the entire walls. That was pretty crazy. Oh, no, that was good. That was amazing. It was just when he turned to ice and broke apart. That was like the worst part. It was real bad. But yeah, no, the, other than that, it was a solid, real solid episode. And the effects overall are really good. So let's let's get to the scores. What score are you going to give it? Start with Amy. With who? With you. Me? Oh, yeah. I'm never first. Who's Amy? I thought you said Andy, and I was like, <laughs> Amy. what? Oh, I give it a zero because Hodor died. Well, our scale doesn't go to zero, so it's a one to five. <laughs> I, you know, that's, that's my first oh, five Jason season. just chimes in like a robot. <laughs> yeah, it's just in me. It's in my DNA. Follow the rules. I just gave it what it was, and you guys were all talking, so I ain't going to repeat myself. Well, <laughs> we're that, just sit here. It's the yeah. first five of the season. I think that was, it's a solid episode. It actually made me have feels. Plus, can we talk about what's this dude's, what's the guy's face when he looked at Brianna Tarth, and I keep seeing it in our notes. Oh, <laughs> He was just yeah, want, I he really wants skipped something. over that because you guys are obsessed with that so much. I listened to the last piece of dream. So it's so a good funny. 10 minutes talking about Brienne and Tormund. <laughs> yeah. It's like the greatest love story of our time, Tristan. She has you get no behind cares it. for him at all. And I just love his... <laughs> that was awesome, dude. He's like... Yeah. He loves <laughs> that. He loves it. Well. He wants to climb that tree. <laughs> um, I'll go next. I will give it a four. That was awesome. I didn't cry like Amy did, but that that last 15 minutes was pretty solid. That's all I got to say. I didn't cry like Amy did in such a negative tone. Thank you, Jason. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I cried like Amy did, and I'll give it a five because I cried. I give it five spears through ice. Woo! Are we doing that oh, week? yeah. We're doing that again this week. Yeah. I give it five Hodors. I give oh. it four Amy tears. <laughs> no, it was, it, it was a... Probably one of my favorite episodes of Game of Thrones in a long time, yeah. dude. I just I enjoyed every part our part of it, dude. Sweens. Sweens City. Five summers because this episode was awesome. Unfortunately, Hodor goes down. Summer dies. Yeah. All around awesome episode, man. A lot of great backstory, some time travel. Good to see where Bran's gonna go. Uh Theon Greyjoy, dude, heading over to help out old John Stark. Heard it here first. Looking forward to next week. Uh, I'm at a five. Really strong episode for me. And it's like after the episode, it's one of those times where like I was feeling so many different things. Like, okay, what's going to happen with Bran? And like, is the sacrifice that Hodor did like going to be something that? will actually mean something down the line of like where Bran goes from here and seeing all the backstory of like seeing the first the White Walker King uh, being turned into White Walker yeah. as, a, as a human like I'm hoping we find out a little bit more on that if he was actually a meaningful person if he's related to any of these houses see where he's I don't know how long ago that may have been so who knows if it is oh is my gosh relevant, I didn't even but... think about like caring about who it was like that's interesting now I'm curious yeah. like if they do reveal something like that or if it was just some Joe Blow dude some guy who's like yeah, it could deals have been with like trash something small. <laughs> well if it's somebody it wouldn't it be anybody that or any house I would feel that we'd know because it happened like way 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 long ago before the Targaryens even came to Westeros so but it still could play down or trickle down effect or they might change it for the show because you know yeah. it's not the same anymore and I like the during the theater performance, the little band playing up above was of Monsters and Men. A little tidbit there. Oh, it. that's cool. Hmm. It's not the first time they've had a band play. There was a I forget the band, but they had but a real band playing at Joffrey's Purple Wedding. The purple huh. wedding. I forget the name of, but anyways, we'll look forward to next week of Game of Thrones episode six coming at you next week. <laughs>